Everybody talks about how life will be once you become a biotechnologist. But nobody is talking about how life can be once you become a deep tech, biotech CEO or a businessman. So today I am going to share some lessons from my story. And of course, all the CEOs and entrepreneurs and businessmen I have met in the biotech field. And then I'm going to paint a picture of how exactly the biotech story looks like for someone who is leading an organization. And probably this will help you build some inspiration and uh, you'll also in future start a biotech company. Now, I have a hidden agenda for all of you for today. Why I want more of Biotechnica subscribers to start a biotech company is because the more biotech companies you start, they'll come to me for mentoring and I want to help you. And the more companies in biotech become successful, more Biotechnica subscribers will get a job. So isn't that a win-win-win situation? I think it is. That's the reason I'm making this video so that it motivates you, inspires you and helps you think different, right? Everybody thinks the same, right? So why not think different? But before that, I would like to also mention that if in case you're looking for some kind of job and you're not targeting to become a businessman, you can always go and register yourself for Life Science Education and Career Advancement Fair. Leave 2025. Details are given in the description. So that, and this is free, okay? Leave 2025. And you will be able to get a glimpse of how you can advance your career and grow into the biotech and pharma sector. Okay, now let's come back to the video topic, which is how to become a biotech businessman and uh, what kind of day you will lead or what kind of life you will lead, right? So to start with, uh, well, if you have a degree in biotech, that really helps. If you don't have a degree in biotech, it will still help. Okay, hold on for that. So a bachelor's in biotech or a master's in biotech, you not, don't necessarily need a PhD. If you have it, fair enough. If you don't have it, doesn't matter. So my formula is what I don't know, I hire people for that. Okay. And what I know, I will try to become a master of that. Right. So of course, a bachelor's in biotech and then you uh, minimum is a bachelor's in biotech, which you, sh which you should have. And then you should do some kind of certifications like bioinformatics, artificial intelligence, machine learning, genomics, metabolomics, all of that. So you will, you know, have a better understanding of the technology side, right? Now, the thing is you have to identify a gap like, okay, this is the requirement and this is my product or solution which I can build. So how a regular day will look like. So generally you will wake up, say around five o'clock. Okay. And then you will start reflecting on what are the things you're going to do you will make a to-do list and then you're going to um, you know look at your long-term goals and the short-term goals right that's how a ceo thinks and then you will look quickly at what is the latest in the biotech uh, news because uh, like in india when we sleep the us is awake right so a lot of things happen a lot of news happens in the us so now we have to go through that the genome india project will not only boost india's standing in genetic research but also help solve global problems. So biotech news, you have to go through the, all the latest patents which has been granted, any kind of funding in, information has come, any investors has approached, all of that you have to read through quickly. So in between 6 o'clock to 9 o'clock, basically that's what you're doing apart from, you know, take your regular uh, schedule of getting ready for the office, right? Now, uh, by the time you have actually uh, started your uh, journey towards the office you would have been on the way like you will start talking to your team uh, there will be team, team stand-up meetings or synchronization calls or you're talking to the laboratory staff understanding what went wrong how is the project moving what are the milestones to be achieved uh, what are the delays so all that you'll understand you'll also review the kpis key performance indicators of your sales team your queries of the customer whatever has happened over the past uh, 24 hours now, now that you are in an office, so basically for everyone else, 9 o'clock is morning. For CEOs, 9 o'clock is mid of the day. Okay, because we wake up way early. Like I wake up 4 o'clock in the morning, right? Now they will start uh, looking at not the regular work. They'll start looking at what helps me grow the company. So they will 
look at uh, the newer ideas which their team might have come up with or uh, do some research of their own probably write something on linkedin or twitter or read through all the chatter which is happening by other um, you know ceos and um, businessmen so basically we all uh, businessmen or uh, entrepreneurs or ceos have this habit we do not read through unnecessary clutter we only read through what's important and is going to be productive right now most people think that lunch break should be 30 minutes or 45 minutes CEOs compress their lunch into 5 minutes or 10 minutes okay the rest of the time they're focusing on what has to be done today which will help us grow next year or next to next year so they are always constantly planning so the biotech businessman are always constantly planning now one thing you should know is uh, most of the biotech deep tech companies are uh, always looking at which patent is expiring or what new research paper has come so these two things they always keep in mind right so that means they have a lot of curiosity in science and technology and sometimes they always are looking at uh, what exactly is happening in the it which which i can implement in bt that's how the aiml and biotech happened right so and they are constantly communicating with their teams and basically those are voice mails or text message or voice messages they're constantly also working on mentorship so in the afternoons they are mentoring the teams okay in between 2 o'clock to 6 o'clock they will be mentoring the teams they are meeting collaborators uh, university partners or biotech clients in the afternoon maybe for example me so i'll be probably in the afternoon so making videos like this or maybe uh, they're looking at client testimonials success stories what went right what went wrong understanding the client's challenges then going back reaching out to the chief scientific officer asking why there is a project delay what can we do to fix it uh, suppose the supplies has not come a lot of things so basically uh, as a biotech businessman you are wearing multiple hats in a startup now that's where comes if you ever get a chance to work with a biotech startup founder you will learn 10 times more than your degree this is my observation okay and because they are constantly innovating they tried a product it flopped right we have this company called thomas biotech right i'm sure many of you would have seen their product on, on amazon but you would have not bought it or maybe bought so they are into papaya jams and papaya sauce papaya ketchups right so it is uh, helping the farmers and this papaya ketchup right it's healthy so these kind of products they have to constantly keep coming up with right and then they are also talking to investors so most of the times in the evenings goes in talking to the investors um understanding what's their requirement and not investor meeting doesn't happen every day every time but sometimes right so again keep looking at how can we hit uh, a bigger revenue number by the end of this year that year so those kind of milestones then in the evening time so it becomes family time right so after uh, say 6 o'clock or maybe 7 sometimes it gets stretched to 10 of course so now now they start reading so most of the businessmen and startup founders read a lot of books okay and even my habit i read a lot of books then what they do is they have they have they all have very good habit of writing so they will write down what happened they will write down what are the challenges they they write down what are the priorities and then they go to sleep in biotech uh, the formula actually is not just that okay uh, if you want to become a businessman it has to be there in your dna the truth is you have to network you have to be action taker you have to be a um, um, you know bulldozer who removes the roadblocks and you have to constantly innovate on what's working what's not working and how to make it work now as uh, startup founders become experienced they move on to become established companies for example biotechnica 15 years ago we were a startup also today 19 years fast forward we are established companies into multiple verticals and now we are uh, generating employment we have hundreds of people working in our cro division in our um, edtech division or for that matter any other divisions which we have basically it's very satisfying to be a biotech businessman or a ceo many people think that you earn a lot of money that's not true you don't earn a lot of money but yes of course you get to see a lot of money which you know of course goes to your employees and your growth partners uh but it's very satisfying to see you know 500 people getting in employment and uh, their lives becoming better because you took a decision so biotech deep tech companies are need of the hour 
Now I'll quickly, you know, would like to bring up something which was posted by uh, Nandan Nilekni. If you know him, he is one of the co-founders of uh, Infosys, right? And now he is also the um, godfather of Aadhaar Card in India. So he came up with uh, a PowerPoint recently. I will just pull out certain things which you should know as a, a biotech professional. So India's GDP stands at four trillion dollars. Recently, it has uh, surpassed Japan. But do you know that there are only five to six states in our country which is generating maximum of this GDP? The rest are um, lacking. So maybe a lot of biotech companies are required in those um, states. Okay. So we have Gujarat leading, Karnataka, Maharashtra, Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Telangana leading. We have uh, Delhi and Haryana and Punjab leading. But apart from this, a lot of, yes, Himachal Pradesh also. So these are the uh, states which are leading in biotech, but others are not. So if you are from any other state, those states, what these companies are doing in these states, you can copy there or you can replicate there. That's one. The second would be, you know, um, a lot of people move from North India to South India in uh, looking out for jobs in biotech. You can create a lot of jobs in uh, North India by uh, starting your own biotech company. Now, your biotech company need not be in research and development. It can be in diagnostics. It can be in bioinformatics. It can be in artificial intelligence. It can be uh, a one-man company with a laptop and you are dealing with clients in the US and UK, right? And if you, if we look at it in India, you can get uh, good quality uh, biotech professionals at a lower price. So starting a biotech company is not that tough. You don't even need a lot of investments. You just need some good investors, good network. And that I can provide you through the iBiome uh, Foundation, which we have, where we can help you build your own startup from scratch using Biotechnica and iBiome's network. So the idea is to now use the technology which exists in our country and abroad and use some investor. Of course, initially you'll have to put in your own money. You have to take some risk. And of course, risk is something like you have to measure which is bad and which is more bad. So decision, uh, if you can make in between what is bad and what is more bad, that's risk uh, taking efficiency, right? And then you formalize it uh, from a startup into an established company like, like how I did for Biotechnica, like how many other biotech entrepreneurs like Dr. Kiran Majumdar Shah has done. You will need a lot of good people around and um, today with that, advent of AI, bioinformatics and of course a lot of requirement and need in biopharmaceuticals, agriculture, food technology, uh, education and uh, a lot of support in blockchain and whatnot. So a lot of things can be done if you start a company in biotech. Now at this juncture my suggestion will, will be to don't just get, get fascinated with the story which I told you. Remember it's a tough journey, it is not that easy. But if you are willing to take that risk, there'll be a lot of satisfaction because you'll generate employment for a lot of people. So if you're interested to start a biotech company, reach out to me at shaker at biotechnica.org and I'll be very happy to support you. Keep shining and see you as a biotech billionaire of 2047. All the best.